Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Commodity TV. It's time for a company update. Gold mining is the world's largest gold resource holder with 23 million ounces plus 2 billion pounds of copper. The company has over $8 million in the treasury and is well financed for 2020 and 2021. The market cap stands fully diluted at 157 million shares and options outstanding at 240 million Canadian dollars. Key shareholders are the management, Sprott, I am Gold, Ruffer, Brazil Invest, Marin Catusa, and the KCR funds, to name some at least. They are very supportive and have a long-term view on the business model to acquire cheap but great and high-quality high quality projects and pay in stocks for them of the company. The last seven years bear market were perfect for the business model as sometimes they paid 10 cents for the dollar in the ground. All acquisitions were done close to the bottom of the gold cycle. The major gold producers are getting into trouble, as their reserves have declined around 42% from 2012 to 2018, and they are still depleting their reserves. Also, we had no new real major discoveries, and it is anticipated that production worldwide will fall by at least 20% until 2025. Gold mining's valuation is around $14 per ounce for the measured and indicated categories. To stay conservative, have a look at the average valuation of the Kennecott Junior Explorers index with $30 per ounce. This means that gold mining has still 100% growth, at least in valuation, in front of them and when we compare it with them. If we look at average M&A activities in the last eight years, then the price per ounce rises already to $69. Given those numbers, gold mining is in comparison really undervalued. The company might be already on the radar of some large producers, as gold mining would give them a nice future upside in resources for gold and copper. The company holds in Brazil, Colombia, Peru, USA and Canada projects in good jurisdictions and favorable mining destinations. We see Sao Jorge as a nice production scenario in the future, especially with higher rising gold prices. Even more important is Colombia, with the development projects Titiribi and Lamina, and as well as uh, Yarumalito for exploration. A possible resource estimate would change the valuation here too. No wonder got the company to buy recommendations from Road Capital with a price target of four Canadian dollars and fifty cents, and from HC Wainwright with even five dollars and seventy-five Canadian cents. Looks like top analysts see also an undervaluation in the stock price. We look forward to some more news and, of course, higher gold prices. Thanks for watching us and bye bye from Switzerland.